brave. Could you pass the milk? Sure thing. <laughs> Go! Excuse me, bro. Whoa! The pain! <laughs> the pain! A red card? You gotta be kidding me! I barely touched him! I don't wanna hear it! You're out of here! Unbelievable! You need to get your eyes checked! <laughs> Bubbles. Everyone out! The tub is for... Hot tub! <coughs> at least you respect my orders. Oh, it's not that. It's not that at all. It's because I can't enjoy hot tubs! <gasps> a robot body is great for a lot of things. Looking real shiny. Hacking Robin's very personal data files. I'm sorry? And being real, real, real tough. But enjoying the warm, bubbly embrace of a hot tub just isn't one of them. Sometimes I wish I was a real boy again, but I've searched the world and there's simply nobody who can... I can do that. Excuse me? Is this gonna hurt? Nope. I won't feel a thing. Ha! <laughs> and you guys say I'm not funny. But seriously, this will be extremely painful. As the Wrath Metro... <laughs> 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 To warn you, your human nervous system is very sensitive compared to your robot body. All I'm hearing is hot tub, hot, 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 hot tub. <laughs> ah! I'm being cooked alive. <laughs> hey, Beastie, can you come in here for a second? <laughs> Why? You need help? What are you doing with your feet in there? It's been a while since I've used one of these, okay? Drop the hot tub, creeps. Whoa, cyborg, what happened? Cyborg's gone. I'm Fleshy Guy. I think he was talking to me. Booyah. Robin? What are you doing? You heard me. Booyah! Stop saying my catchphrase. Sorry, it's my catchphrase now. Comes with a suit. So the real boy adventure, the song, was all that just to get my robot parts? Uh, yeah. Why would I ever be human when I can have rocket boots? Rocket boots! Uh, sorry, still working out some of the bugs. <clears throat> now, Hive, prepare to go! Just a weak little real boy. Just like you. Sorry, babe. Put some ice on that. Now that's what I call a real boy adventure! What about that time when Cyborg played Duck Duck Goose? The duck? The duck? The goose! I am the goose! The goose! I'm coming for you! No one escapes the goose! You want some real tragedy, bro? Cyborg, tell this fool your origin story and don't leave nothing out. You got it, bro. It all started back in the day. I was born on this doomed alien planet that was about to blow up at any minute. To save me, my loving but questionable alien parents placed me in some old rickety capsule and shot me into outer space like shawow. I was just a helpless baby boy, zipping through space all by my lonesome. It was crazy. I don't know what they were thinking. Then boom, I crash landed on some random farm here on Earth. This nice old farm couple found me all naked and crying, so they decided to take me in and raise me as their own. Later, I discovered I had all types of cool powers. So I left that farm life and became a superhero instead. Saving people, falling off things like tall buildings, waterfalls, ladders, Whoa. horses, and chairs. And that's how I ended up here on Earth all super light. Wow! Oh, and that nice old farm couple that raised me later fell on hard times with the climate change, agricultural subsidies, and the advent of industrial farming. They lost their farm and are now homeless. That is really tragic. <laughs> Too bad your grandma's not 
not here, Cyborg. Ugh, cause we can sure use the backup. Ow! Man, if she were here, she'd be like, Honey, you don't want to make Grandmama mad. Uh-uh. No, you do not. <laughs> that is the funny voice. I did not know you could do the funny voice. Ah! <laughs> oh, you have done it now. Grandmama's going to give you a whooping for that. <laughs> I never should have messed with Grandmama's gravy. Enough with the funny voice, Cyborg. Mm, yeah. It's giving me a headache. Grandmama don't know what you talking about, baby. <laughs> Dude, the moment's passed. Why are you still talking like that? You ever get stuck doing a voice and you just can't stop? Well, that's where I am, honey. I just can't help it. Grandma, I can't help it. <laughs> Try to help it. <sighs> Morning, Titans. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Who wants breakfast, children? Uh, still with the voice. <laughs> <laughs> Cyborg, what are you doing, bro? Call me Grandma, my child. Seriously, Cyborg? Ow! Ah! Ow! I said call me Grandma! Okay, Grandmama. Now wash those hands before you eat. Go on now. Mm-hmm. That dress does not flatter him. It seems this voice has attached itself to Cyborg's subconscious somehow. But it also seems he... She has become an awesome cook! Thank you, sweetie. Lights out and nightlight on. <gasps> nightlight out? Lights on? Lights on! Lights on, lights on, lights on, lights on, lights on! I do not like the dark! I can't see where things are! I gotta find the light! No! No! Oh, machine! My solar plexus! Cyborg, is everything okay? We heard the screams of the little girl. Ah! Ain't odd, monster! Ah! Oh, phew. I scared it off. Wow, that monster really did a number on you guys, huh? Power went out. I'll check the grid in the morning. No, you will check the grid immediately! <laughs> Bro, are you scared of the dark? <laughs> of course not. As your friends, we would understand. Oh, I wouldn't. Yeah, only babies are scared of the dark. I am not scared of the dark. I am scared of what hides in it. Wow, spooky. We have lost half our team, and Raven still cannot open her mouth. What are we going to do? There's only one thing we can do. Meatball party! Perhaps there is a better option. Yes, perhaps. Can't you see? This is all your fault, sir! Clearly, that was your fault. You're going to communicate by drawing pictures? <laughs> I love this game! Force, angel. No, good. Um, is that a clock or time? Hmm. I always force you to have a good time? Booyah! I am so good! But I thought that was our thing. You pretend to hate having fun, and I force you to have it. Sometimes you just want to do your own thing. Genius! How did I put that together with just a drawing of a snake and an upside-down happy face? I have no idea. I didn't realize I made you feel this way. When I act this way, you find me super, super irritating? Oh, yeah! I'm on a roll! Don't you worry, Raven. I'm gonna make this right. Open wide. No way! If this burger don't make lots of drips, it don't belong near my lips. You are so right, bro. 
Will you be doing the brother out for much longer? Only for the rest of our lives, girl! Ah! Rose, 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 Rose! <laughs> Can you at least be bros somewhere else? It's annoying. Is saving the world annoying? Didn't think so. From what danger must the world be saved? The Bro Apocalypse! Every 2,000 years, the Bro God sends down an intergalactic fist bump to the top of Mount Rosuvius. And the ultimate Bro has to reciprocate said fist bump. It's super sick. But if the Bro God is left hanging, he will bring a pawn. The Bro Apocalypse. Backward hats, popped collars, and puka shell necklaces will cease to exist. Ah, uh, good. Oh, we look forward to the day. Also, the world will be destroyed. You're joking. Do we look like we're joking? Now, if you'll excuse us, these bros have a world to save. But first, one last power lift. Hey, it's wall! Hey, Worst case scenario! Come on, bros! Walk it off! Bros! I can't walk! That means we won't be able to stop! The bro apocalypse! Oh, darn. I guess that's the end of all your dumb bro ways. No more backward hats. They should only be worn the front ways. No more extreme sports. I prefer sports to be the mild. And no more getting food all over your face while you eat. The shameful. That ain't a world worth living in. If we can't bro ourselves out of these injuries, there won't be a world to live in at all. We're running out of time, bros! I can't scrub our injuries out no more. My hands be broken. Are you bros forgetting that Tiger Woods won the US Open with a broken leg and torn ACL? A true bro knows pain is all in the mind. Get up, let's go, bros. <laughs> it's working, bros. Baby, I ain't feeling no pain. Chest bump. <laughs> Did someone say dance party? I did. I know. That's why I said, did somebody say dance party? It was the Beast Boy who said it. I hear you, girl. That's why I said, did somebody say dance party? Barry told you Beast Boy said it! Guys, come on. When I was like, did someone say dance party? You're all supposed to be like, dance party! And then, you know, we have a dance party. Oh, I get it. Of course. So, did someone say dance party? Dance party! Whoa, whoa, whoa! This is not the music we are looking for. What are you talking about? This is some good music. Not good enough. Play the song, bro. Of what song do you speak? Come on, you know. Do I? Yes, you know. Give me a hint. The greatest song ever written? Hmm. Gets you pumped up. Is... A musical arrangement written and performed by Carl Burnett, Franklin Ania, and William J. Regan, also known as B.E.R., that resides magically in your soul and can transport the listener to an alternate dimension inspired by the album art of the 1980s. Maybe sing it for me. That might help. I saw you dance mm -hmm. from the corner. I caught. Oh, okay. Your name. That's starting to ring a bell. In a conversation. Playing hard to get. Woo! I can't understand when I look at you. I see the story in your eyes. When we're dancing, the night begins to shine! <laughs> Playing hard to get 
the time. Because it's too rad, Robin. Too rad. Cyborg, I have been wondering, what exactly is this world of the Eternal Shining Knights? It's a mystery. All I know is, this song is the key to this reality. Indeed it is. 